Hello everyone, this is Kiran from the Kiran Academy. In today's uh, chapter, we are going to learn all interview questions related to Swiss statement, which is very important and it is alternating to if else statements. So let's move on to first question. Explain the purpose of Swiss statement in Java. You should be giving answer like if you have multiple conditions and it is defined that in this case, I need to go with this. You don't want to do any evaluation. Means condition is already fixed. You don't want to keep on evaluating always. Let's say if day is Monday, then do this. If day is Tuesday, then they do this. Then you will be going for switch statement. In ifels, what happens? It is time consuming. 10 ifels is there, 5 ifels is there. Every time it is getting evaluated. If this is correct, this is correct, this is correct, or this is correct. But in switch statement, you don't need to worry about. Already decision is made. Now directly move on to that condition and execute. It's very simple. Next question. What is the limitation of types that can be used in switch statement? This is a very tricky question and you should be knowing. What Java is allowing? Byte is getting allowed. Short is getting allowed. Char is getting allowed. And integer is getting allowed. These four types. But in JDK 7, but in JDK 7, they introduced string also, which solved many problems of the Java developers in the industry. This was very important that they gave this uh, updation to their Java version. So these are the five things you can write in the switch statements. I would not say it's a limitation, it's a feature. Discuss the significance of the break statement within a switch statement. Yeah, let me tell you this in detail. So whenever you're writing switch statement, some expression you will be writing here, something you will write, some condition. Then first case will be there, case 1 something, then case 2 will be there. If you don't write break statement here after finishing, if you don't write this, then case 1 and case 2 will get executed sequentially. But if you write break means, I already told you in one of the video, if you look at my break continue, that is loop uh, video there i already explained this break means execute complete flow means execute this and execute this means it will not wait for you it will not wait for you so i mean to say here i mean to say here if you write break it won't go down so this is what the significance of the break statement can you use strings in switch statement java i already told in jdk 7 they have introduced yes you can use string that solved many problems of java developers how does the default case works in switch statement? Default means here you can write, which is optional, which is optional. Many freshers think that default is compulsion. No, default is just optional. You write, you don't write, so it doesn't matter. So if in this case, this condition not satisfied, this condition not satisfied, then Java execute this one. This is default block. Coming to next question. What happens if you omit the break statement in switch case? I already told if you don't write break means cases will start executing one by one continuously. So you don't get proper result. That might not be a requirement many times. Always you should be writing break statement for every case statement. Coming to next question. Compare the contrast the e-fails ladder with a switch statement. When you would prefer which one? I already told at the beginning of this video. E-fails means if you write e fails, e fails, if something, then again else if something, then again else if something. What happens here? To reach to this code, it checked this, it checked this, and then it moves. But it would have been a switch statement, which I already told. Decision is made here. Directly it is reaching to this, means you are saving time, you are optimizing yourself. So, which is better if you ask me, obviously it depends upon the requirements, but if you ask me directly which is best to use, I would go with this, not with this, if I have multiple conditions and it is predefined. So, with this, uh, I am closing this chapter. This was related to switch statement. Uh, let us meet in the next video. Thank you.